Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is another, um, I say weather type reaction, it's not really a weather type reaction at all, really, but it is to do with sort of natural disasters. And I mean, it's a prediction video, but I do remember learning kind of about Yellowstone. And there's a few other volcanoes, like the, is it, let's just search super volcanoes around the world. I swear there's one in like Asia somewhere. There's probably a few in Asia, but volcanoes around the world. I know Yellowstone is one. Yellowstone. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've actually heard of any of them ones. Mount Tabora, that's one. Maybe that's one that happened in the past, I'm not too sure. But a few, I swear there's a few more that I learned about in geography, like when I was back in school, but a long time ago. And I just remember learning about how, when this does happen, because it's not an if, it's when it does happen, because I swear it's like overdue at this point. It's supposed to be happening. Like it's about a thousand years overdue or a hundred years overdue of when it's supposed to, when it usually happens, but I mean, yeah, from what I remember learning, the the damage that this could cause is next level. Like we'd be without sunlight for years. Like crop, like we wouldn't have sunlight again. Sunlight would lead to like plants and like crops not being able to grow, which in turn would lead to humans not being able to eat. So basically a mass extinction for many, many reasons. And not just for the, just the sunlight, like the temperature would cool crazily for years. And yeah, I mean, I swear there was a summer like in the 1900s or the 2000s. I think it was like the 19 or 1890, something like that, maybe. And it was like the two year winter where like um, global temperatures went down by like two degrees Celsius, three degrees Celsius because of like a, an eruption. And... I assume that eruption was nothing like what this could be. That's my guess, but maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe it was a super volcano back then. But yeah, this one is what if Yellowstone volcano erupted tomorrow? And I don't know if this will get blocked. I've never heard by the never heard of this channel before, but I saw this video suggest suggested, and I actually like I got really interested in wanting to do it because I do find these kinds of videos really just fun to see, basically. But hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy again. It's quite a short one, but can't complain again. I enjoy seeing this kind of stuff and I assume for the people who wouldn't have seen this as well it would just be interesting to see the sort of consequences and like the sort of the damage it could cause basically but let's get into this let's check this one out quick shout out to my Instagram quick shout out to my Twitter links in the description same for my second channel I'm getting more consistent again with the second channel with the sport reactions I'm loving it and not just sport reactions I just do random sort of video reactions there as well so for those interested the links are there but let's get into this one and let's see what this is about right now in the United States one of the world's largest volcanoes is gearing up to explode. It's known as the Yellowstone Volcano. And it's not just any regular volcano. Nope. It's a super volcano. If Yellowstone decided to erupt, the results would be devastating. But how bad would they be? Is there anything we can do to stop it? Would it affect the entire world? And how would this change our weather? This is what if, and here's what would happen if the Yellowstone volcano erupted tomorrow. Located in Wyoming in the United States, Yellowstone has erupted three times in the past two million years. This I also wonder if there's any sort of measures that the US is taking for like if this happens, because I swear I remember learning like the whole US would be wiped maybe not wiped out but like yeah just big issues basically and i wonder if like the u.s government have like a plan in place for this i mean i guess i'll learn in this if that is the case but this has led some people to wonder whether we should be worried about another yellowstone eruption in the near future and by near future we mean probably in another couple hundred thousand years yeah <laughs> but instead of waiting so long why don't we find out what would happen if the eruption took place tomorrow if you live in North America, there would be virtually nothing you could do to prepare. Mm. Now that this supervolcano has exploded, well first, what makes Yellowstone a supervolcano anyway? Well, apart from it being larger in size, a supervolcano also produces a much more massive explosion. Most of the time, when we think of a volcanic eruption, we think of the hot molten lava spewing down, covering the surrounding area. Well, while that would happen at Yellowstone, and it is something you'd need to worry about, it wouldn't be the only thing. In fact, the lava pouring out of the volcano might be the least of your worries. The least Surprisingly, of... there wouldn't oh, be much of it. At least not as much as you'd expect from a supervolcano. 
That's because before lava leaves a volcano, it's first known as ma- Is that a person just- Wait, what? People just stand like this close to volcanoes. What are you mad? I might have to check some videos like this out because I didn't realize it would even be possible. I thought it'd be too hot. I mean, it is. They happen to wear this, but still. Bro, people have got balls of steel, man. I don't even know how you're going to put yourself through that. I could not bring myself to do anything close to that, man. One slip and you're in there, bro. You're gone. Magma. But I respect but it. In this case, a lot of Yellowstone's magma won't be able to become lava. That's because it will be shot up into the sky, becoming airborne ash particles. And it won't just be any type of ash. These will be tiny, scorching little particles of jagged rock. Now this would affect nearly the entire United States and Canada. Tens of millions of people within 1,000 kilometers of the eruption would die. If you breathe the ash, which would be inevitable in a scenario yeah. like this. This is one of the most dangerous things form well, a cement-like mixture in your lungs, causing you to suffocate. Buildings would collapse as just 30 centimeters of ash is enough to cave roofs in. And you'd still be in trouble even if you were outside that 1,000 kilometer range. Experts say that even the east coast of the United States would be covered with one centimeter of ash, which would still be incredibly dangerous to our human lungs. Even parts of Europe would see some ash, maybe a light dusting. And that wouldn't be the only effect they'd experience. Apart from the deadly ash everywhere, the entire world would experience a temperature drop. So the I'm ash lingering in the air would block out the sun, resulting in significant weather changes. The global temperature would drop by 10 degrees, an effect Ten which degrees. could last as long as a decade. 10 degrees for a decade are you crazy it's crazy how something so hot can lead to something so cold obviously the world does its thing and it does make sense as to why but 10 degrees for 10 years so you're telling me the uk in the summer will be 20 degrees max and then winter will probably be minus 10 because it's usually like around zero here or like a little bit off here and there in degrees celsius so i mean Boy, that is not an exciting thought, but at the same time, hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll happen maybe a, a few thousand years from here, so I won't be involved and hopefully my family won't be involved kind of thing, but still, I can't imagine when this does happen, because like, again, I spread it's overdue, unless it's a different volcano, but still, the next thousand years it's, it's expected to be, that is going to be just crazy, I can't imagine, because I remember the Iceland um, volcano, that had to stop flights for like a few weeks, I swear. And that's nothing to the size of what this will be when it does eventually erupt. And this is just sitting in the middle of the US. Like, if I was there, I'd be kind of scared. But at the same time, I guess people are just sort of brought up around it. And I mean, I guess not scared because it's just something that you're used to. And you just, if it happens, it happens. But at the same time, the likeliness of it happening in your lifetime is very, very low. But still, still got to think the about it. The ash would also affect crops, water supply, and virtually everything else in the western part of the world. So, although you'd probably survive the initial explosion, you'd eventually suffer the consequences of the ash. Mm -hmm. Whether that means dying relatively quickly or living long enough to experience a colder, harsher world. Luckily, you can take a deep breath of ashless oxygen knowing that something like this will probably never happen, at least not in our lifetime. An eruption like this at Yellowstone would be known as a supervolcanic eruption. A more likely explosion at Yellowstone would be a hydrothermal eruption. This mainly involves a lot of steam and some rocks hurtling through the air. Although something like this would be bad, it wouldn't be nearly as scary as what we're getting here. A more likely eruption at Yellowstone would be a relatively simple lava flow. In fact, since the last major explosion, 600,000 years ago. We've had nearly 50 of these eruptions and zero casualties. Oh, wow. We know one way to almost certainly get killed by lava and it involves dropping your trash into it. But that's a story for Wait, another. Wait, what? What if? I'm gonna check this out now. What if we, bro, what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I, do I see this for another video? Now, I'm going to do this now. I, this has got me intrigued. If this channel then ends up getting me to another one where I'm going to be like, I'm going to watch this now. I'm, I'm going to be pissed off, but... 
I am interested in this for some reason. Well, I, I would just assume it just sort of swallows the trash hole, right? Or the like the metal or whatever it is, and it just sort of melts it, disintegrates it. <laughs> a volcano is one of the most unforgiving natural phenomenons on Earth. If you were to fall into its magma-filled center, your body would quickly bubble up and disappear without a trace. So if they're so good at getting rid of things, why aren't we using them to get rid of our garbage? Has anyone tried it before? How would we transport all our trash to them? And what dangers would be involved? This is what if, and here's what would happen if we dumped our trash into volcanoes. I'm interested in this one. Americans alone generate about 254 million tons of trash per year. And although dumping it into volcanoes might sound like the perfect way to get rid of it, it wouldn't be that easy. Volcanoes might look like nature's garbage incinerators, but in reality, they're much more dangerous and unstable, not to mention a lot harder to get to. Would overcoming these obstacles be worth it? Or would dumping our trash in volcanoes just cause even more harm to our planet? The first obstacle in our quest for volcanic garbage disposal would be finding an active volcano that can get the job done. There are only about 1,500 potentially active volcanoes worldwide, and most of them aren't located anywhere near humans, for obvious reasons. That means getting all our trash... One thing I thank humans for is not being stupid enough to just base so many towns around volcanoes, because you sort of know how humans base... Like, base... A lot of big towns or big cities have been based around, like, rivers, like New York, or like, on the coast, because, like... Um, ships are just easy sort of supply to send sell things and buy things like trade and all that sort of stuff if for some reason humans just decided you know what Vol living near volcanoes would be the perfect thing to do and i know there is that uh, there is the uh, the city that i learned about in geography as well that just got buried under that basically there was a volcanic eruption what's it called and basically everyone in the city was killed because it was so close to a volcano and there is other ones that probably are but in general you don't really find cities near volcanoes or anywhere near like even sort of settlements etc but i could be completely wrong i could be proven wrong in the comments right now someone's been going to be writing actually i live here a lot of big city lives here if that is the case i would actually be interested in seeing that because i mean i've got to respect it but at the same time i could never do that myself to an active volcano could turn out to be pretty expensive and once we get there we might find out it's not even the right kind of active volcano the kind of volcano we'd be looking for is called a shield volcano a slow erupting variety that contains the iconic lava lakes that gradually spew out onto the earth. Unfortunately, these aren't very common. You're more likely to come across their angry cousins, known as stratovolcanoes. Okay. Stratovolcanoes are known for their explosive eruptions, caused by the buildup of pressure from hot gas and magma. In other words, they're probably not the safest location for the town dump. But. Let's say we're lucky enough to find ourselves a nice active shield volcano. Before we worry about the logistics of getting our trash there, let's figure out if it's even a good idea to dump it inside. If you were one of the first waste collectors hired to drive up to the vent of a volcano, yeah. you'd quickly start to question your career choices. The vent of a volcano is a treacherous environment full of poisonous gases, lava splatter, and projectile rocks. And things only get worse once you start throwing stuff inside. In 2002, a group of Ethiopian researchers threw a 30 kilogram bag of trash into a volcano and the results were explosive. Lava lakes are unstable, so if you pierce their surfaces with something cold like trash, you'll trigger a chain reaction of explosions involving oh pressurized God. and acidic steam. So can you imagine how big these explosions would be if you threw an entire nation's trash in there? Well, to put it in perspective, rock falls into lava lakes in Hawaii have sent lava 85 meters into the air, so it'd probably look something like that. Even if you could safely get your trash into the volcano, you'd still have to- Bro, he's not even wearing a mask or anything. <laughs> People are crazy. ...to worry about all the air pollution created by burning our waste without filters. That's true, actually, air pollution, that's a very good point. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even factor that in when I first saw the video title. Plus, not all materials will completely break down in lava, which means that the polluting remnants could erupt out and contaminate the surrounding landscape. 
Not oh ideal if you were hoping to burn nuclear waste, for example. Add these environmental impacts on top of the fact that shipping all our trash to these volcanoes would significantly increase the carbon footprint of the waste disposal, and the whole thing looks like mm. a terrible idea. Yeah, it's true. If we're going to burn our trash, why not at least do it someplace where we can use the heat released through incineration to create new sources of energy? Or instead, maybe we could just shoot our garbage out into space. Surely there can't be any harmful effects there, right? Well, <laughs> that's a topic for oh, another. Oh, fuck. This channel is pissing me off. Stick bags. Oh, no, I can't watch this. I can't. I can't. I can't just keep... Bro, that, this channel is smart. I'm not going to lie. This channel is smart with how he does it. Because I want to click the next one. I don't want to click the next one. Oh, that's annoying me, man. But I enjoyed this a lot, honestly. Yellowstone won't erupt for a foreseeable future. It hasn't been on the Simpsons episode yet. you got to wait for the predicted first, didn't you? The only person alive would be the Queen. What if Yellowstone erupted? 2020, care to find out. Yellowstone erupts. Astronauts. Huh? That's weird. Imagine what the view would be from, like, out of space. Is there any videos out there where it sh shows, like, volcanoes erupting and it has the recording of outer space and like what it looks like from the satellite sort of footage teaching yourself doing the behind work it should mind its business and stay quarantined like the rest of us i would simply just stop it because i'm built different it do be like that man the way 2020 is going i wouldn't be surprised if it erupted this year october 2020 edit you only need to relax 2021 here we come baby here we come 2021 hold my beer 2020 yellowstone volcanoes overdue 2020, now this looks like a job for me. Fuck's sake. Coronavirus fails to eradicate the human race. Yellowstone, fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> I love YouTube comments so much, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this reaction. I do really enjoy these kinds of videos, and if you want more stuff like this from this channel or channels out there that are similar, I'm going to subscribe, actually. I really enjoyed this. Just let me know, man. This channel seems to do a lot of interesting subjects that I feel like could be fun to see, but again, let me know about this sort of stuff. If you want to see some more of these kinds of videos, and yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.